what's up YouTube uh, I know last week or the week before we did a video on number stations so I had a lot of comments asking about web FCRs and just wanting to know a little bit more about them so this video is just going to go a little bit more in depth with what they're about uh, how they work and how you can utilize them uh, and I've actually purchased a new uh, dedicated microphone uh, for YouTube as well, so I'm not quite sure about the quality, the quality of audio in this video, but it should be more than uh, typical in, in the videos I do. It was, it's a decent microphone, but I guess we'll see. And if you guys don't mind, give me some feedback on that too, um, if it sounds better or worse than what I usually do. But let's go ahead and get into the video. So just in case you're a little bit new because this channel is still uh, really for beginners, a SDR is known as a software defined radio. So most of the computation that goes on takes place uh, software wise. Uh, it's all pretty much controlled from the computer. Um, so it, it, it's a little more digital. It allows us to have a little interface here on the computer that allows us to control the radio and the different bandwidths and frequencies and that type of thing to uh, get it to work that way, the way that we want. Well, one cool thing that we have here in 2020, which I, I didn't know as many people just didn't know about it uh, until I did my video on the number stations, is web SDRs. So what that implies, obviously, is that we can go on websites and use SDRs. And this is kind of a growing community, and there are numerous different locations where these things are set up. This is kind of like their main page, or the main page is called uh, webSDR.org. Uh, and basically, you can go here, and it has a list of uh, different web SDRs. And these are HF stations that are set up in different locations throughout the world that we have access to and that we can control and that we can listen in on. Now the other side of this is most often times you can't transmit uh, and that, that could cause a lot of issues if you could with the web because you know you have a lot of trolls out there and, and people willing to just uh, abuse the system but you can listen all you want. So as you scroll through these it's going to have the, uh, the location there on the left side and on the right side you're going to get frequencies um, and there's a little bit more um, description about the antennas that are being used. So, anyways, this is a super cool system, and I think I'm going to go into one of the one or two of these and just show how they work. And then what we'll do is we'll jump on my HF radio and see if we can hear ourselves through one of the EV SDRs. Uh, it isn't way too far away. Uh, you can also scroll down here, and there's a uh, map that has um, different locations, and you can just click on it and it'll show you the SDR that's there and then you can click on the page and you're here. Now one thing I do realize uh, when I look at these is they pretty much all use the same web page setup. It must be some type of source that people are using. So it's mostly the same format uh, and I'm using Chrome as my browser and I notice a lot of these have an issue where it doesn't play audio so what that has to happen with Chrome is once you click on these, it has to prompt you to allow you to use the um, your speakers uh, just because of the way it's set up. But um, let's go ahead and open up another one of these, this one from Brazil. So uh, I'll go ahead and click on it. And uh, here we have a nice waterfall. Um, we have our signal meter and we have a volume control and it looks like here I'm not getting getting any audio uh, see some of them even have like a little audio on switch or something you have to toggle it's a little bit different uh, let's see if we can get it on yes so I'm going to turn this down Actually, I'm going to have to turn my speakers on. Anyways, so we have uh, we have some audio going on. Now, a lot of these actually mark on the waterfall what kind of stations they are, if they're more popular to use. Uh, usually, you can use your mouse wheel to scroll into uh, narrow, specific frequencies, and you can scroll out to see a more wider bandwidth. 
So we definitely see we have something here at 360, so we can actually just go ahead and just zoom right in on that and get a nice, nice look at uh, this signal coming in. And then we can click, and it'll tune the signal there. There we go, we're getting something. So obviously it's in different language. So this one's super cool. Um, this is in Texas, and this is one of the ones I was talking about where it actually has uh, some of the, uh, the frequency broadcast names uh, underneath the waterfall. Uh, let's see if we can get audio going on. If you cannot get any audio, use Firefox browser instead. Works best with the SDR receiver firmware. All right. Well, we see it there. Let's, uh, let's install Firefox. All right, so we're back on Firefox. We're on the same web SDR, and sure enough, we have some audio. So, as we were saying, we can kind of scoot around the band here. Uh, we can go different places, but I'm going to turn down the volume just a bit. And, uh, yeah, so let's, let's, uh, let's scroll into this. There we, I see some type of signal here. We can actually uh, see what this is. Definitely some type of um, digital. Yeah, definitely some type of digital signal going on there. Sounds like a SSTV image, actually. Yeah, anyways, you, you more experienced people there watching the video, you, you, you can tell what that is, probably. But I'm pretty sure it's an SSTV image. Uh, let's check out something else. So we can actually change the um, the band typically on these. Yeah, so we can go from 90 to 49, 37, 26, and 22. That's some odd numbering, but I'm sure it's just the way the software is set up. So let's go to the 49 meter band and see if we can see something. So obviously we already see some signals coming in. Uh, oh, well yeah, that's FT8. So we have FT8 here and we could probably pull that up. Yeah, so we have we have some FT8 and, and you can you can actually put in the exact signal here and get a better uh, better sound um, obviously. Now, if there are QSOs and ham operators, if they're talking, you can actually go on the waterfall and uh, find some of that too. It sounds like here we got some Morse code going on. I'm still trying to learn Morse code, so I don't know it yet, but that's super cool. Let's see. The voice band's usually a little higher, so let's zoom out a little bit and see if we can find something over here now with the voice obviously we're looking at kind of breaks here and there it's not continuous like data uh, and we're going to be on AM actually lower sideband here's something here Very faint speaking. Anyways, you can you can go in here and fine tune these and, and find these signals uh, yourselves, and that's the cool part. And you don't have to have the uh, expensive equipment to uh, to do this either. You're a technician, and maybe you're trying to get into ham radio. Uh, this could be like a cool opportunity to um, to try to play with HF and see if. Uh, what what you hear is something you you know you like you think you're gonna like enjoy it then um, yeah it's cool you can you can go around all of the bands and listen to whatever you want throughout you know whatever spectrum that these things are covering 
and uh, get an idea on what HF sounds like. And uh, and if you don't have access to a HF rig yet, then you can listen in all you want. But these tools are super cool to use. Um, different people, you know, host these things. It's it's a very it's a big mesh of different volunteers that throw their equipment on here and let people from the internet play around with it. And um, it's super cool that they do that, and it's a really cool tool to use. But I'm just gonna fire up my HRF rig here, and uh, just for demonstrational purposes, we'll find uh, an HF radio somewhere in the U.S. and uh, or on the web SDR, and we'll give a uh, CQ shout and see if we can't hear ourselves. All right, <clears throat> so I have a uh, web SDR that's pulled up coming from uh, Virginia. And um, I have my HF radio here beside me. Here's my hand mic. And uh, we're tuned to 7.260 um, megahertz on the 40 meter band. And we're going to see if uh, I'll come through the SDR. So I'm going to turn down the microphone and turn up the audio on the computer. And uh, I'm just going to shout my call sign. November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. CQ, CQ, this is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. CQ, CQ, this is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. Anyways, well, uh, there you have it. Um, Super cool system to use, um, and it's free, and I implore everybody to go check this out, because you can go in and listen on any frequency you want. There's a lot of different really cool stuff to listen to, including the number stations that I did. Anyways, if you guys did like this video, make sure that you subscribe and rate and comment. Well, there's not rating anymore. I'm, back, I'm stuck back a decade ago. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment below, and just... Let me know some other interesting stuff uh, that you'd like to check out. I know you guys were interested in the web SDR stuff, so I tried to do just a little bit more in-depth video and go through and, and show how it works and, and show a little demonstration. But just make sure uh, to let me know down below what you guys want to see, and I'll keep trying to push out videos every few weeks here. Anyways, you all have a good one.